first of all, he looks old. Aging is part of human experience, right? But Jake Paul, watch him try to make it like seem like he's act, acting tough, trying to make it seem like he's like this big bad bully, you know, taking on this for, this Hall of Famer, this legend in the boxing game. But bro, the guy is, I looked it up, the guy's 50, 58, I believe, years old. It's crazy. Netflix posted about it. So, you know, I, I don't think they would post this on their Instagram if it wasn't legit. Yeah, these uh these platforms they're trying to get they're trying to get a piece of everything, you know. Will I watch this? I don't know, man. Like any train wreck, like any uh, you know, freak show, you know, you you, you don't want to look at it, but every time you you know, you look away, you kind of look back and you're like, what's going to happen? You know, I think that's what's really going on um because a lot of the true tried and true boxing people the people that have been fans of boxing for a long time don't like what jake paul is doing but they started to gain more respect for him as he started to take on bigger and better challenges um but he's kind of gone back to his you know just degenerate ways and taken on kind of no names and taken on legends of other sports. Um, we thought he was making a good climb, taking legitimate boxing uh, competition. But now he's kind of going back to his ways, man. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. This guy had a good take about it. We'll see what he says. It fit right here. Because, oh, by the way, just... so this is him commenting on the boxing match that he just had against some random dude that nobody knows about actually there's a funny meme that's going around about it this fake news account i follow a ton of fake news accounts that's why i had to confirm that this was actually happening i love like the comedy spoof accounts so that's why i had to confirm it was happening right so i i see this and this is a spoof account but it's just kind of funny and just kind of like is is drawing comedy from the fact that jake paul keeps putting on these kind of you know no name fights and and then he'll like fight some random ufc guy that's super old and you know now he's back on his bs so we'll see what this guy has to say about his last fight bro knockouts like I, or we don't want to keep seeing these kind of opponents where you could get these easy first round knockouts we want to see some work i'm a jake paul fan i ain't even going front so that's why i'm saying this Y'all always getting mad because I see, you know, Jake doing what every other fighter has done. And, 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 you know, he still is right now. And to be fair, this, this is what me and my friends have been arguing about when I posted this in our group chat. I was like, hey, look, at the end of the day, he's bringing eyeballs to boxing. Yeah, it's not the boxing fans that you want or even necessarily um, <laughs> the type of boxer that you want. But in reality, he's bringing a bunch of young people that don't know anything about boxing and sitting through these fights and learning about the nuances of boxing and and educating themselves and maybe this is a gateway for them to start to learn and appreciate the, you know the the sweet science of boxing um so to be honest i mean i would even say for myself i mean i remember i i just kind of recently got into mma i think it was nate the nate robinson and jake paul fight that made me kind of wake up to boxing a little bit more just because i thought it was just absurd and just hilarious that nate and uh jake paul were fighting and there was a lot of clips about that and i was like oh this is kind of fun you know it's, these two guys at least i know one of them you know a lot of boxers today unfortunately you know the promotion part's a huge part of boxing they're not the best promoter promoters because that's not really what they're 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 supposed to do right mayweather was great at it because you know he just had a mouthpiece he was just charismatic um, Muhammad Ali, of course, the, the greatest was really good about it. And then Mike Tyson, even just on top of the way he fought, but the way he would speak, you know, the aggression in his voice, you know, he just had so many quotables. He was good at it. Um, there isn't a ton of people like that. I think Tyson Fury tries to be that guy, but it's just, it's not at that same level and that same scale. I think Jake Paul kind of saw a window, um, in the market, you know, Mayweather's kind of, uh, is retired now and he's like he's really stepping in as that guy for boxing i know it's uncomfortable for us to talk about and you know for whoever's watching this for just entertainment value probably doesn't care but i know a lot of boxing fans are like you know this is their baby they care a lot about this um but jake's a good thing for boxing i know it's uncomfortable but he i think he's a good thing because he's bringing people 
uh, bringing eyeballs to it and he's bringing people to boxing. So, you know, we don't always love the way he does it. You know, he it's, it's cringe. It's kind of weird. But you know what? You got to tip tip your hat to him. Now, my friends disagree. By the way, Marvic podcast, my, my friends, they do a podcast called, called Marvic. They sponsor a lot of boxers. They interview a lot of managers in the boxing game. Really good podcast. If you guys want to check it out. But we don't want to see this, bro. You got a different standard. We hold you to a higher standard because you're making a lot of money. You got a big name. We want to see you fight some better competition. Five rounds, then get the knockout. That's all we asking. Well, that's all I'm asking. Also, I think a lot of the earlier fights that he had were rigged. This is just my opinion. I have no like concrete proof. But the way that a lot of the... Like Ben Askren um, and a lot of these other fighters that he would fight... The way they got knocked out, I'm like, how did you get knocked out like that? I don't understand. It just didn't make sense. The way these fights were were ending, just they just didn't make sense to me as someone that you know watches fights. And I'm not a pro or anything, and I'm not like a professional analyst, but it just seemed a little bit fishy. And then you heard rumors kind of flying around. I think he had. I think he switches off. He has a couple fake ones that are rigged, and then he has one that's uh, you know a legit fight. You know, so. I don't know. I think uh, he's got to get away from these kind of spoof fights. But I think this was a garbage fight that he had, the guy that the one that he's commenting about. And because he knew he had this Tyson, this Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, you know, prepped and ready to go in the chamber. So he's just like, you know what, I'll just do a tune up and then I'll have this uh, Mike Tyson fight. This is just I still am trying to process this. I just found out about this and I'm like, what in the world? Where's our world coming to, man? The dude box trick picture looked like he was going to get knocked out. Homie looked like he got off the couch, kicking back bruise, watching WWE eating potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the issue, man. If you start to uh, gain a reputation of just taking on any sort of fight and just taking on kind of garbage fights, don't be surprised when people don't don't put respect in your name. You can't really complain, right? But, you know, you got to play that balance of like cringe type of content and um, just putting out quality. Obviously, there's a certain extent that you probably shouldn't go as an entertainer, as a competitor, especially if you're trying to be respected in the game, as I assume that he's trying to be respected in the game. But this is just absurd, man. I, I just I can't I can't believe this is real. I cannot believe he's boxing uh, Mike Tyson. This is going to be it's going to be an interesting one. July 20th. We still got some time. We'll see what type of uh, what type of crap Mike Tyson's going to going to talk. We'll see how this thing turns out, and I pray and I hope it's not one of the rigged fights. I don't know who's going to fare. I don't know who's going to win because, obviously, Jake's got the youth, the energy. He's been active. He's you know he's dedicated his life to this, but Mike Tyson's the GOAT. Mike Tyson's you know up there with Muhammad Ali, with the legends. He's He's got that wisdom. He's got that old age, and he's not out of shape by any means, um, but obviously, as you age, you that quickness goes away, but right now with the technology with the amount of money he's making the amount of stuff that he's been able to put in his body i'm sure he's done like stem cells all that stuff so we'll see put it down in the comments let me know what you guys think is going to happen let me know what you guys think about this do you guys think it's good for boxing do you guys think it's not good for boxing what do you guys think about you know netflix the play that they're making about this it's cheeky it's weird they're kind of getting into the into the social media kind of spoof entertainment game which you know, Netflix is trying to position themselves as like a respected medium of entertainment. And some might say this is a territory that they shouldn't step into. So yeah, let me know, let me know what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.